Medea was a barbarian princess with magical powers. She betrayed her family and helped her lover Jason steal a golden fleece and kill his enemy Peleus. Jason and her then fled to Corinth in exile, where they were warmly welcomed and had two little boys together. At the beginning of the play, her children's nurse tells of how Medea is in deep grief and how she is scared her mistress is plotting something evil. The nurse fears for her two little boys, who just arrived home from their tutor. Medea is enraged because of her husband's unfaithfulness, for Jason had just abandoned her with their children to marry Glaus, the princess of Corinth. Medea stayed in bed all day and wept. She is so angry that she hates the very sight of her two little boys. She prays and shouts from her bed for the destruction of her entire household. Creon, the king of Corinth, arrives at Medea's house and exiles her from Corinth. She begs him to allow her to stay one more day to pack, and he allows her this once she promises his family no harm. After Creon leaves, Jason visits her and tries to justify his actions. He explains how marrying a princess will help their family socially advance, and if he becomes king one day, he will keep Medea as a mistress. Medea becomes enraged at her husband's words, and where there was once love, there is now only hate. She tells him how she now has nowhere to go. By winning him the Golden Fleece, she severed ties with her family, and now she has to leave Corinth too. Jason tells her that he did her a favor by bringing her to civilized Greece from her barbaric kingdom. After Jason leaves, Medea is visited by a third man, Agius, king of Athens, who was sent there by an oracle at Delphi with a riddle. Offering him drugs to restore his fertility, Medea gets Agius to grant her a sanctuary in Athens. He happily agrees, not knowing that she plans to murder those who wronged her. Medea sets her mind on killing Glaus and Creon through poison, and to kill her own children, not because she hates them, but to punish her husband for his unfaithfulness. Medea meets up with Jason and pretends to agree with his previous argument, and apologizes for overreacting. She then asks for his help. She tells him that she wants their children to stay in Corinth, and that she has a golden robe and crown as wedding gifts for Glaus to bribe her to let them stay. Jason agrees to help, and speaks to his future bride, who agrees to let the boys stay. Amazed by their beauty, Glaus puts on the dress and crown, and is extremely pleased until her flesh begins to rot, for the dress is poisoned. As she dies, her father embraces her, and too is killed, for he chooses to die with his own daughter. Medea then completes her plan by stabbing her children to death. She hesitates at first, knowing it will sadden her, but she follows through with her plan, thinking her sadness is a payable price to make Jason suffer. Jason storms home to confront her about her crimes and is horrified to find his children dead. He begs her to allow him to bury them. She refuses, and she flies off in the sun chariot of her grandfather to Athens. As she leaves, she predicts Jason will die a nobody in his old age by being hit by a rotting beam from his famous ship. The End <laughs>